Hey, this time we're going to talk about reflection probes. I want to start by talking about what a reflection probe is, and then we're going to go ahead and create reflection probes for this map that we're in. Speaking of that, we're inside Desert Meeting Space by myself. The geometry here was made by the Mozilla Hubs project. I'll put a link in the video description so you can find out more information. Inside this map, we have an outside and an inside area. And if we take a look at this sphere here, which is just a sphere with a PBS metallic material on it with the metallic set to maximum and the smoothness set to maximum, you'll see that reflected upon this is uh, the skybox, which is fine for out here on the balcony. But if we go inside, you'll see that there's another sphere here on this uh, table, which is still reflecting the outside. That might not be ideal depending on the visual choices for your map. And for this one, it certainly doesn't make sense. Inside the room, you might expect reflective surfaces such as metal or glass to show the inside of the room, but instead they're showing the outside or the skybox. Reflection probes allow us to fix this. Now that I've told you what they are, let's go ahead and set one up and you'll be able to see them in effect on this map. So I'm going to go back outside here and I'm going to equip a developer tooltip, which I've already got. You can find it inside Essential Tools if you don't have one. Go ahead and go to Create New Object Reflection Probe. This will create and bake a reflection probe all in one, so I want to talk about that um, as we go. But first of all, I want to show you that they already work. So you'll see here that we've now got a uh, reflective sphere, it's the same sphere, and it's reflecting the reflection probe now rather than the skybox. First thing to note about reflection probes is that they have a bound. You can see this bounds based on the green outline here, not the pink outline, more on that in just a moment. But if I go ahead and take this uh, sphere outside of the bounds of the reflection probe by just walking it out this way, You'll see that it smoothly transitions between the reflection probe and the outside um, of the reflection probe, which will reflect just the skybox again. This bounds can be edited by using this green bounds. The bounds is, um, this green bounds here is just a box gizmo, similar to the box gizmo that you can use to resize a cube. Uh, for more information on that, check my gizmo tutorial in, uh, linked in the video description. But if you go up to any of the dots that are positioned at various points along the, uh, the gizmo here, you'll see there's one in the center there, there's one in the center there. There's also ones on the corner. Basically any of those, you can hold primary and drag these around to kind of change the bounds of this. So if I move all the way to here, now I'll have to take the ball sort of halfway into the corridor before it will transition. Or you can go up to the uh, component here and you can change the size using um, the box size property here. Let me move this inspector just a little bit. There you go. So if you change the box size here numerically, you can change how big it is numerically as well. Now, reflection probes have two types, and the first type here is actually being reflected in this uh, sphere here. This gets created when you use the Create New menu. If you make one manually, you probably won't see it, but this is what's known as a debug visual. The sphere here in the center and the green bounds are part of this debug visual. This sphere here is showing what the reflection probe looks like. It's not showing what reflective surfaces look like. You can use the, the ball here for that. It's showing you what the baked cube map, which is what reflection probes um, are implemented as here, uh, will look like. So this can be useful to check that it's sort of capturing everything, it's not missing anything. For example, if you've got culling or certain objects are invisible for certain reasons, you can take a look and make sure that you're seeing what you expect here. It also allows us to show, uh, show you the second type of reflection probes. I don't recommend using these, but you can if you would like. These are called real-time reflection probes. When you change this probe type up here to real-time, you'll see now that the reflections on this sphere are um, dynamic and changing. This may look like a cool effect, and it usually is, but it does have a performance implication. So when you're using this, do keep that in mind. Don't use um, reflection probes that are real-time everywhere, or you'll have the sort of staggered um, performance hit that they have. I wouldn't also recommend that you use them on avatars. It may think you may think it's cool to have sort of you know rear reflective glass on your avatar, but that will. Um, give the performance application onwards to other users that experience your avatar. If you're a map creator and you know exactly what you're doing, go ahead and use them, but just don't use too many. I'm going to set it back to baked because we're going to be talking about baked reflection probes the rest of the video. When it's set back to baked, you can go ahead and hit bake here and it will go ahead and rebake them. And you'll see that the sphere updates from green, sorry, gray, and then we'll update to the new reflection probe once baked. This also gives me a good opportunity to show that you can't rotate reflection probes currently. This is a limitation with the rendering engine, which Neos currently uses. There'll be some information about that in the video description for you to take a look at if you're interested. Once they are rotatable, I'll let you know and I'll update this video again. You can move reflection probes though. You'll see that the gizmo here says reflection probe on it and I can move it out here and this will move the green bounds and uh, everything about it as well. And if I rebake it, you'll see a slightly different picture because the reflection probe takes its picture from the center point there. 
If you're done baking around with the reflection probe and you want to turn off the debug visuals, you can walk up to the inspector here and hit show debug visuals, which will turn it off, and then it just looks like a normal map, but the reflection probe is still working. I'm going to leave these on for just something in the moment. Let's go inside and make a reflection probe for the inside of the map so you can see how they transition between each other. So I'm going to go ahead and create one in the inside. So open up the context menu, create new object reflection probe, let that bake. Let it upgrade its uh, resolution here. There we go. And now you see that this sphere here has the reflection probe of the inside. And if I go ahead and take it outside, you'll see it transitions first back to the skybox and then back to the um, balcony here. This is an indication of the ro rotation problem that I was speaking about here. I'm going to have to resize these um, uh, these bounds such that they uh, you know overlap um, effectively and you know make sense such that there's not a small square looks like just about here where we see the skybox. That's fine. I'll do that off camera. What I'm probably actually going to do is what I suggest you do for your maps as well, which is if you align your world geometry such that it's rotated and aligns with the root slots ro uh, rotation, you can see the root slots rotation by going to um, open inspector here, selecting root, and then that will show you. It will take a little while to load, but it'll show you what the reflection looks like. Oh, sorry, the rotation looks like, um, and you'll see, is it in there? Where's the gizmo for it? Let me fly and take a look for a second here. Reflection probe and reflection probe. No, okay, no gizmo for that. Let me just deselect all and reselect it again. Oh, we can use the user spawner here because it's aligned. Basically, anything that has a rotation of 000 is aligned to the world's rotation. And if you line up all your map geometry to that rotation, then you won't have any difficulties. So what I'll do is I'll take the entire map geometry off this video, rotate it so that it lines up there, and then my boxes can be more precise, and I advise you doing that too. Uh, without that in place, though, if we take the ball... Where did I put the ball? If we take the ball between them, you'll see that we get that little... That little effect there. I could resize these on camera, but I don't really want to do that um, as it will take a little while. I don't want to don't want to bore you with that. The last thing I want to show you is the Reflection Probe Wizard, which occurs in the Create New menu. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. If I go to Create New Editor, Reflection Probes, you'll see that this menu appears. This menu here allows you to bake all reflection probes in a map or within a certain hierarchy. You can drop a slot into this process route here and it'll only process uh, reflection probes underneath that one. You can also check this process disabled option, which will process disabled reflection probes. That's the disabled um, state on them. And you can also filter it down to a tag. So for example, here, if you tagged a reflection probe of inside, then it would uh, just bake inside if inside was written here. There's also an option here to teleport you to each probe. This is useful if you have any sort of culling, which hides areas of the map when you're not inside them. I'll link inside the video description a uh, video about the culling um, component that was added that should give you more information on culling. Uh, beneath that, there are the useful buttons here. So I can show debug visuals, which will show debug visuals on any reflection probes within that process route, or hide debug visuals, which turns off all those visuals. So now you'll see that we don't have the bounds box or the uh, sphere in the center on the inside or outside. We still do have my spheres. These are just mine. I can do whatever I want with them. I can show them again with show. We can also go ahead and bake all the spheres in the map. Uh, sorry, all the reflection probes in the map by just hitting this button and it will see baking one of two. If you've got, you know, tons of reflection probes, this can save you an awful lot of time. That's it for a basic overview of reflection probes. I know I didn't cover all of the properties here. There are a lot more here that you can play around with, but those are more advanced use cases. If you have questions about how to use them or you've got some information that you'd like to share about them, please see the video. Um, comments area where you can put that down there. If it's a cool comment, I'll pin it for you. Thanks. I'll see you next time.